Hi, this is Boris. Welcome to Patch Tuesday. I've got a bit of a technical patch for you today in which I want to sequence a bass kick and a snare in a 16 step sequence. We're using step 8, route 4 and compare 2 to achieve this. Uh, first of all, to make a 16 step sequence, we use the first section of Route 4 to switch between the scan outputs of each of the step 8s. I'm going to manually step through now. The second step 8 scan output is now selected. We step through it. When we've done a complete cycle, the next step is going to be the first step again, selecting the first step 8 output cycle through again now second step 8 output is going to be selected so in that way we can switch between two step 8s creating a 16 step sequence the output then goes to the input of compare to that way the voltage we have on the selected stage of step 8 can be used to either trigger the bass kick or the snare You'll see when I move this up completely, the first channel of Compare2 is selected. When I move it down a little bit, the second output of Compare2 is high. When I move it all the way down, nothing is selected. The second section of Route 4 then receives these outputs from Compare2 to select the incoming signal and route it to either the contour of the kick or the snare. At the input of the second section of Route 4, we've got the fall output of the first contour to clock the step 8, and we use the fall, because it's slightly, ever so slightly later than the rise, to trigger the, the contours. That way we can have two consecutive steps trigger uh, a bass kick or a snare. I'll just put the first contour into loop mode, which means the patch will start running. As you can see, we don't hear anything because all of our faders are down. If we now want a bass kick on the first step and the fourth step, add in a snare, dynamically sequence two sounds with compared to step 8 and route 4. Of course, if you want more levels of sound to be triggered in this uh, open heart sequencing technique, you just add another compare into the, into the patch, giving you more levels of control. So you can have nothing, sound A, sound B, sound C, sound D. In this patch, we're, for simplicity, we'll, we're only uh, using a bass kick and a snare kick. So this gives you a 16-step sequencer where you can dynamically choose which sample or which sound to play by changing the voltage on the selected stage of step 8. Happy patching. See you on the next Tuesday.